you know, for me, creatively, I, I wish I could say writing the songs, but my songs come at moments of inspiration colliding with desperation. Like, I can't, like, schedule a songwriting appointment and write at that time. Like, my songs come when I get home and find out that all my furniture is sitting out in the yard, and I've been thrown out of my house, and I go, where am I going to live? Where am I going to live? Where am I going to live when I get home? Yeah, where am I going to live when I get home? My old lady throw down everything. On. That's the way my songs come. And so most, all of my songs I've written in a moment of some pretty heavy stuff. Now, there's some things, like country music has the blues. I, I pulled up to a, a place in Branson, Missouri, and saw Loretta Lynn's tour bus playing across the, the street and wrote Country Music Has the Blues just out of the inspiration of seeing Loretta Lynn's bus. I wrote it right then, so I just did the natural thing and said, you know what, I'll go over and see if she's in there. I'll play it for her. I said, go over. She opens up the door. I go in. We have a cup of coffee. And I said, hey, I just wrote this song about seeing your bus, and I wrote this song. She goes, oh, I played it. She said, I want to sing on that. Well, the next thing I know, I'll, I went and cut the track, and then uh, George Jones heard it. George Jones comes and sings with me and Loretta Lynn. For me, a kid from Flatwoods, Kentucky, that's the moment I go, oh, I love this. Yeah, this is the creativity. This is what it's supposed to feel like. And George Jones and Loretta Lynn in here singing on this song. The creative part for me is making the music. I, I love to sing. I love to do a lot of the harmonies. Um, if you listen to the album, a lot of the harmonies back there, you might hear different parts that sound like a quartet. And my dad had a gospel quartet, and usually I'll try to emulate each one of those four-part harmonies in whatever recording of the song. And then I, in today's world, I may stack them and triple them and quadruple them every now and then, you know. But um, it's really fun, you know, to be able to take that stuff now. I love to record. I love it. I, I carry my guitar with me everywhere I go. Um, I just, uh, oh, I wrote a song yesterday on the way to do that thing. Oh, I just write all the time, and that's kind of what I want to do. I, I was born a singer-songwriter, and that's kind of how I want to leave this world. I took a couple detours along the way. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of lost myself a little bit, and, um, and I don't have any regrets. But, um, you know, when you start acting, um, then you become that character. And a lot of times I, I used to hear Elvis, uh, you know, one of his, to me, one of his greatest recordings was Caught in a Trap. And I think he was singing Caught in a Trap. In some ways, he got caught in a trap, you know, like caught in a trap of making all those movies, a string of movies that, you know, in, in today's world, you would call 50 movies in a row is called a series. And I've done two of those that went 100 episodes each. And, and then, you know, that combined with... You just get caught, you know, and, and so um, for me, just leaning in, I'm, I'm Billy Ray Cyrus, a singer-songwriter from Flatwoods, Kentucky, nothing fancy. I'm left-handed. I was born upside down, and, and that's just the way it is, you know. That's, I am what I am, and I'm, yeah, so I just, it's good at this stage mm -hmm. to just be an old rock and make music, you know, and do what feels real. That's, that's what feels good to me.